Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing Season 6, Episode 15 of Arrow called Doppelgangers. So we'll start off with uh, the team, uh, no sorry, Jean, um, talks to Oliver at the office and says that she can get the case dropped. And he is so upset that Lance comes in with bad news and he is claiming, um, he says that um, Laurel is going to be Earth One Laurel, and she's been at Heidi for two years, and she's just walked into the police station and talking to reporters. <laughs> and so um, she actually did some great acting. Katie Cassie has really brought her A game. I feel like this season, I feel like she's she did that part very well, pretending to be Earth One Laurel, but really being Earth Two. And turns out um, when Laurel, I mean, when Oliver confronts Laurel and asks her about the money, she said the money's gone. So it's kind of oopsie whoopsie. Then we cut to where um, the police um, captain suggests selling off um, stuff that has already been cleared by the court and can hopefully get $30 million from it. So Oliver says just do that. Then we cut to where Dina is on Laurel's case. And then we go to the FBI, got a new witness. So Gene kind of got roadblocked. And it turns out that witness is Roy Harper. So the team, Arrow, is thinking about where to find them. And so they do they try a location and they do surveillance on it. And then we cut to where Laurel and Lance talk and... Um, Saying that, like, if you're going to be Laurel, you got to get into her style. You got to actually act the part. Then he gets to talk to uh, Dina outside. And then uh, we find out that someone took her while they were talking. And that person was a cop that's going to, that's on Diaz's payroll. Then we start, uh, then we cut to where Roy is getting beaten up. And so then we cut to Anatoly talks to Laurel. And turns out the Bratva kicked him out. And then we cut to where Thea is suiting up and uh, gets into the vent during surveillance while Oliver threw a distraction, which was awesome fireworks. And then um, gets Roy free, and but um, the SWAT was coming in, a bunch of other people were coming in, so basically Oliver pulled Thea out. And then we cut to where Diaz has dirty cops. And so Oliver talks to Dina and Lance about it, and they agreed to work together and to help. And then he had Diaz training people, and he's trying to start like a family, kind of like a brothel type thing. But I think it's inclusive to not just men. I think women are also, invo also involved. And then he talks to Laurel. Then we have the SCPD is moving a decoy that Oliver tried to break into, but there was no one in there. And it turns out Diaz has Roy. Then we cut to where Felicity comes down Oliver. Then we cut to where Diaz threatens Thea to Roy. And then we cut to where Lance and uh, Dana go through stuff about trying to find his dirty cop and who's not. I don't know why I said that weird. Anyway, I did all this mess one take. And then we cut to where um, Laurel shows up and uh, tries to give intel. And then, um, then we go to where Oliver and Thea talk, and Oliver suggests to go with Roy when they find him. Then Laurel gives them the intel, saying basically that Roy is at a bandit casino, and that's where you'll find him. So the OG um, team goes to the location. Then we have really good fight scenes, except for that little bit of camera work. So they really gotta switch that out, because um, it's not flying for me. <laughs> I understand you're trying to go for first-person perspective, but I don't like it. I don't know. I prefer like a wide shots and you know then close ups of people like fighting and stuff, but not the camera angle to move so jerky like it's not working for me. And then uh, we cut to where the SCPD is on the way, and then it's the other versus Diaz, and she actually held up pretty well for not be for not doing it for a long time. Then Oliver interjects in, um, jumps in and helps out, and then. Tells uh, her to drive the truck with uh, Roy in it. And then we cut to um, Oliver escapes. And then he talks to Laurel. I think it's done talking to uh, Thea and Roy. And says, thank you. 
And then um, when he leaves, the um, Lord God texts Brandia saying good work with her little smirk. Then we have Thea and Roy um, are basically about to have a slumber party. And then we have the League of Assassins spying on them saying Master has found the heir of Rasha Ghul. And that's the end of the episode. And we're on freaking break until the 29th because of uh, March Madness. <laughs> so anyway, uh, that's what, that was the end of the episode. I thought it was a pretty decent episode. I'll probably give us a B. I feel like it wasn't as strong as it could have been because I was kind of expecting Roy to be the doppelganger. Also, uh, Laurel acting like a doppelganger trying to add like Earth 1 Laurel. I think it would have been for something different to the mix. So... I don't know, it's just that when it said doppelganger, I was thinking that it would be like more than one, it'd be like one huge thing, but it wasn't, but, you know, it was, a, it was still a good episode, I still enjoyed it, I just didn't, also didn't like the camera work for the fight scenes, I just feel like it just didn't switch that up, I just personally, I didn't like it, um, but, oh, uh, Kitty Cassie's acting for this has been exceptional to me, I feel like it's just, it's really a standout, and I don't know. I feel I'm really excited for the next episode that's going to be coming out um, on the 29th. So, because we get Nissa is coming back, and a bunch of other people are coming back, so I'm very excited for that. So anyway, that's going to do it for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, tell me what you think, and then subscribe. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Also, if you have suggestions for any other TV shows, music, or movies, let me know down below. Bye, everybody.